like those piano tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely rule number four. Yeah, that's definitely rule number four. So before we continue on with the video, I just want to show you a couple photos of what we did. These were taken by Abraham Chen, shout out to him. He's really awesome. So we did a lot of sessions with the president of Unbound, Jonathan Brush, and along with Summit Ministries, Jeff Myers, who are really, really, really cool people that I got to learn from. And we got to learn more about leadership, coaching, mentoring, teamwork, and time management, and how your story, all of those combined, can be a blessing to others, and how you can make an impact in the world through a biblical worldview. It is an awesome class, and if you are interested in the signature leadership courses or Unbound in general, please check the link in the description below. It should have the links to both the Unbound and signature leadership courses. And also, there are more things that we did that I didn't get to record. And a friend of mine, Tama, who I met at the event, recorded a lot of cool things that we did. So I'm gonna leave an iCard right here for you to click on if you are interested in watching the Unbound vlog for that. I don't think this was mentioned, but we actually had a gala Sunday evening and I recorded some of that. And I'm just gonna let you watch the rest. Oh, there's a good over on. What's up, my dudes? Do y'all want to say hi? What? Yeah. 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 What? 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 Love you. <laughs> 
Titus, it was nice meeting you. to leave around 2 to 30 for their flights while the other half of the group had flights leaving from 
five to six, and there was no way we would be having a five hour layover over there doing absolutely nothing. So we decided to go to Chick-fil-A and have a quick bite to eat at a little local park and some other things. That was completely... Is this like a Monty Python reference? Bruh. So we take two little hikes around the park and then we go back to the airport where we say goodbye to Tim and Peyton and then we wait for a little while until 5 o'clock where everyone sort of leaves and we said our goodbyes and luckily as I go to my connected flight to Chicago, two Unbounders were on the same flight. <laughs> in Chicago after an hour or so we say goodbye to one of the inbounders and luckily one of them stuck around until around six so we got to hang out and get a little food before we went off and parted ways and that's how we got up to here. All right guys so I'm the last unbounder in Chicago here I said goodbye to two of some friends that I had met there at Capstone. I'm heading to my terminal with the L24. It's gonna be awesome and amazing when I get back home. I've learned so much about leadership along the way. So I'll probably clarify this once I get home. But just wanna show you all Chicago. Pearson Patel. Please report to L20 Mac immediately. Flight is preparing for departure. Doors closing in one minute. Briefly lift or lower that face covering. You must be secured in a seat back pocket or held securely in your hand. So, where do we go from here? On Monday morning, when we closed out Capstone, I left with an affirmation, something that I thought leadership was for a while, ever since August of 2020 when I started out with these courses. It was that leadership is not a position. Rather, leadership is a lifestyle. Leadership is a community of people with goals, people with visions, people with missions, people who know what God wants for them. They just have to let God take control throughout it all. Leadership is allowing God to take the wheel. It's about abandoning self-sufficiency. It's about abandoning selfishness and replacing it with selflessness. Finding the right people to join your team and accomplishing more than what you could have ever imagined. As leaders, we should not only look forward, but look beyond at what could be and how we can change the world starts now. These are my closing thoughts from Capstone 2021. On that note, you may be wondering, what will be the future of my channel right now? What's gonna happen next? Well, I can't really give you the answer to that, but I may have something that might pique your interest.